So, hey, welcome back. Before I get into the video about how I grow my very own lime quartz, I am going to be alone for a couple of days, and I am not looking forward to it because I have never been alone before. So basically, my parents have left on a trip. So I would like some support while they are gone to help me through being alone for a couple of days. Anyways, so now let's get into how to grow your very own lime quartz in zone 4B or any other colder climate. So, first up is pot size. So I would go with a 1.5 gallon, 1 gallon, or anything smaller, a little bit smaller than a 1 gallon size pot. For this size, lime quart citrus tree. I would not recommend to go with too big of a pot, because too big of a pot is not good for citrus trees. Citrus trees likes to have their roots to be in a tater space. Two, light. I recommend you give citrus trees five plus hours of direct sunlight a day. However, if it gets to be too cold out, then bring it indoors for the fall and winter and then once it and then once it warms up again then bring it outdoors for the summer three heat they love the heat the temperatures needs to be between 70 to 90 Five. Remember, they grow in zones that is subtropical to tropical areas. They can take temperatures down into the 15 to 20 degrees, I think 20 degrees or 30 degrees for I think for just a short period of time, like for just a couple of hours and that's about it. But I wouldn't risk it. Once it gets down to 30s, bring it indoors. Don't risk it. Next up is potting mix. I recommend that you use the Happy Frog potting mix. That's what I use. However, you can use whatever potting mix that you want to use that is like Happy Frog that is between... 5.5 to 7. It needs to be slightly neutral to neutral for your citrus to do well. As for fertilizer, I like to use the Happy Frog Avocado Citrus Mix Fertilizer. I also like to use the Alaska Fish Emulsion. In my opinion, Fish emulsion is better to use than any fertilizer that you get at the big box stores. Let's say like Central Supplies or any other big box store. Watering. I water my citrus like once a week. However, if it's raining out then don't water it because watering because over watering your citrus will be deadly to the to this type fruit tree once root rot starts it cannot be stopped and i i hate to say this but but if you see 
root rot happening, your plant or fruit tree is likely just going to go by and there's nothing that you can do about it. And the very last thing is give your citrus tree lots of love. They need plenty of it. And, you know, like how we need love, plants and fruit trees need lots of love too. So give them plenty of it. So now, it is to the point of the video that I would like to ask you to uh, uh, press the like button. Bye for now. See ya in the next video. Whoosh!